Hi and welcome to TMG Movie Reviews, I'm Rick. I'm Andrew and today we are discussing a film that is without a doubt one of the finest thrillers of the last 20 years, Seven, but a film that will, is the, one of the most depressing films I've ever seen. Yeah. Absolutely though, and the story if you don't know, two detectives, Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman in an unnamed vile looking grey yeah, you never find out where they actually are but it's just sort of like this dull horrible it's, I think it's a composite of all the worst aspects of every city in America yeah so like, everyone there seems to hate it like even yeah. the people that live there it's just... yeah it's constantly rain constantly grey and um, they're in this city looking for a serial killer a serial killer so disgusted by the state of the world he's killing in accordance with the seven deadly sins gluttony greed sloth wrath pride lust and envy um, the film is a masterpiece, without a doubt. Yeah, it's such a sort of intriguing thing, though, as yeah. well, because it sets this premise that there's going to be the seven murders set up yeah. before it, like, and you, you get invested in that. Thing. You do, you start to get intrigued as to what's, the, what's going to be the method of the next yeah. killing and this. And sort of what's the. How are these two two cops going to. Because they've got very different styles very as well. You've got Morgan Freeman, who's got like seven days left on the job, he's ready for retiring because he hates his city, he can't wait to get out of it. Um, and then you've got Brad Pitt who's sort of like, he's been a detective for five years but um, he's, he's, he's obviously not very, um, he's, he's not as good, he's nowhere near the level of Morgan no, Freeman. he's not got Morgan Freeman's years of experience and as and Freeman says, you know, Pitt says to him, you know, I was a homicide cop for five years, yeah but nowhere like this and yeah. not seeing, and it's interesting, it's a very funny scene, one of the funniest in the film one. The two of them are in opposite locations. Freeman's at the library, he's finding copies of Aquinas' books, he's looking at Dante's Inferno, and you've got Pitt just blindly staring at photographs of a yeah. fat man who's been fed, force fed spaghetti hoops to death. Yeah, completely different styles. I mean, uh, Morgan Freeman's amazing in this movie. I mean, this is one of the best performances he's ever done. Yeah. And I love Morgan Freeman, I'm, being yeah. so, I'm a big fan of Shawshank Redemption. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, this, this is right up there with that performance of Red. The thing with Brad Pitt, I know you've said that Pitt's character is he's meant to be sort of jittery and yeah, live wire, but he does annoy me a little bit, the cocky. I do think he is meant to. I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I found it's quite I irritating. The same way. And yeah, sometimes I just think, I think Morgan might just give him a slap and yeah. tell him to grow up. Honestly. He's, um, he's the young. Is the young one that's meant to be sort of brash. But this film at the start, I mean, not not too much, but this film sort of resembles um, Lethal Weapon. Yeah, it does. <laughs> you've got, it does. You've got, you've got this sort of old cop who's near retirement, and then you've got this young brash cop in the. Um, yeah, it's just, in. Yeah, it's it's just where he dives in head first, and you've got the yeah, older guy who stops. Later. Yeah. yeah, shoot first, ask questions later. That's where the similarities start and end there. This is not a bloody cop movie, this is a brilliant thriller. We only see what they see, we only know what they know. So we're trying to piece together the clues that we're given just as they are. Um, it's really clever in that respect and it sort of makes it more enjoyable and it makes you more sort of hang on every word that's sort of being said yeah, or information given. I think the best comparison film for this in terms of Fincher's work is Zodiac, a film about the Zodiac killer and the investigation to find him in. It's not as graphically violent or as sort of relentlessly downbeat as Seven, but it follows the same thing in that you're picking up clues as the detective and as the protagonist, Robert Graysmith, who's also investigating them, it's not a policeman, finds them. So it's interesting that it's more interested in sort of what's going on. It's more a character study than it is a simple wham bam, shoot him up, serial killer, throw up, and that's where yeah. it works. And Fine, without giving too much away, we've got to talk about Spacey. He's yeah. who's phenomenal. Who did not even yeah, Kevin Spacey as a villain. Phenomenally good actor. Yeah. They couldn't even show him like he didn't put his name in the opening credits because people would know. I mean this film came out um, the same year as uh, Usual Suspects, but later on in that year. So people would know as soon as they seen Kevin Spacey, they'd be like, right, there's a killer. Yeah. So they didn't put his name in the opening credits, they left him he's the first name credited at the end of the movie. Yes, he is. Yeah. Um I, I think that's brilliant and he, he's brilliant. You don't even need to see him throughout the movie. As soon as you see him at the end, when he walks into that place, they're covered in blood. Detective. Detective. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you're looking for me. Brilliant. I like the fact that he's not insane, and as no, much as Brad Pitt's awesome. character needs to think that he's insane just because he can't sort of handle that he that he isn't. Um, I like the fact that he's not played as insane. No, he's not. He's played as a rational, intelligent man whose beliefs are so strong that he's willing to kill for them. Yeah. Um, we won't give away the ending because oh. to give away the ending will completely ruin the film for you. They actually wanted to change it, which I'm glad they didn't. Sort of Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt um, all sort of said they'd walk off. They said yeah, they'd leave. They, said they wanted to have that the killer, that Paltrow, who plays um, 
Brad Pitt's wife in the film is in the shower and the killer comes through the window so it's a race against time can Pitt and uh, Freeman stop the killer and all three of them and including director Fincher said no if you shoot it if you change the ending we'll walk yeah. because the film won't work and we wouldn't sit here reviewing it now no it wouldn't change the ending no because it would have still been a brilliant film it just wouldn't have been on the level that it is now because no. they sort of it, 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 I like it when films stick to the story they want yeah. to tell and don't just change yeah, for all don't compromise yeah. yeah absolutely I, f- I think five stars from me a fantastic thrill the best serial killer thrill since Silence of the Lambs a film that has not been bettered since and probably never will be. No, I don't think. I don't think we'll see another serial killer thriller as good as seven. No, and um, just because of mainly Morgan Freeman's performance. Yeah, Freeman's so performance. Fantastic. For me, it's a five as well. If you have not seen seven, go and see seven. Yeah, please do see it. It's definitely worth checking out. Yeah. Anyway, um, if you like this review, please hit the like button. Uh, let us know what you thought of seven. If you did watch it or have you seen it before, let us know in the comments below. Um, and until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you. Goodbye.